If you and your spouse are allowed to sleep with anyone you want, is that still a marriage? If you're in an open relationship, what kind of message does that send to your children? These are the kinds of weighty issues the participants at the New Orleans Swingers Convention probably would rather not wrestle with when they're trying to enjoy naked speed dating or bondage class, but ABC's Ryan Owens went and asked them anyway. New Orleans knows a good party. And the home of Mardi Gras really knows a good parade. We're calling this the Swinger Pride Parade. We're going to show the world that we're proud of who we are. But even the Big Easy has never seen one like this. Hold on tight. We're about to roll down Bourbon Street, baby. Welcome to the first ever Swingers Pride Parade down a busy Bourbon Street. Yes, couples who sleep with others with the full consent and often full cooperation of their partners. The Pride Parade is just a tiny and tame example of what you'll find at Naughty in New Orleans, an annual swingers convention. Nightline got an all access pass. So naked speed dating. Yeah, today's naked speed dating. At least as much access as we could handle. First thing is bondage. Of this year's gathering of 1,300 swingers from around the country, all based at a Bourbon Street hotel. They always say BYOB. All right. Bring Among them, 28 year old Holly and 37 year old Michael Bell. They have been married two years and swinging longer than that. How does it not ruin a marriage to be with all these other people? Not everyone that's a swinger is sexually involved with other people. You know, and if she was with another man, I'm okay with that, as long as it's a decision that Holly made personally. Being a swinger is about a community where you can be with wonderful people who have an open mind. All right, don't hurt anybody. It turns out Michael and Holly are sort of the Brad and Angelina of this convention. At the end of the day, it's about us. Yeah, we're 100% emotionally monogamous. So we're not worried. But isn't that sort of taking the easy way out? Like, Absolutely. oh, I'm totally monogamous with you on the inside, but I'm gonna screw everybody I want. But that's it, we're not screwing everybody we want. You know, there's rules, there's boundaries. Michael, my gorgeous wife, Holly. Thank you. They host the very successful show, Swing, in its fourth season on Playboy TV. Their daily radio show reaches millions, and they've become ambassadors of the lifestyle. Early on, we also meet John and Jackie Melfi, married swingers from Dallas. They're getting a sneak peek at the sex playrooms at the hotel. I said, we'll have to play in that white room tomorrow night. Complete with 65 mattresses the convention has set up. This one's nice. He does a really good job setting these up, that's for sure. For the Melfis, this convention is more business than pleasure. They own swingers clubs in Dallas and one here in New Orleans. Are you really married if you could just sleep with whoever you want? Oh, Is that absolutely. really a marriage? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't have to stop loving him in order to have feelings for someone else. And that's pretty spectacular. You guys are not just swingers, you're parents. What about that? Don't you worry at all about being role models to your kids and what they might think of this? I think we are role models to our children. I think we're good role models. I mean, we instill in our children honesty between your spouse and, and everyone. And that's really important, I think, in growing up and becoming an adult. I'm here to tell the world, I'm a kinky guy. The next day, we catch up with Bob Hannaford, the event's organizer, and our tour guide into a world unlike anything you've seen. We've taken the meeting space and changed it into something a little magical. Every night at 11 o'clock sharp, these playrooms open up for couples to explore. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what exactly goes on in here? Um, anything that people want to go on in here. For Bob, the swinger lifestyle is a full-time job. With a staff of seven, he runs a number of so-called couples cruises, and he's hired 45 people to help run this convention. People will come in here and they can leave it open, which is more inviting. They're saying, we're open to people joining us. And I want people to understand this is just a regular meeting room. Like next week, there'll be guys selling insurance in here or anything else. There was conference tables in here yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now beds. Yes. So how many rooms are there like this? We have the entire floor. A lot of people think, well, these guys, this is just an excuse to cheat on their spouse. Cheaters don't tell their spouse. These people are here together. I think that's the big difference. But doesn't the act of swinging, doesn't that threaten marriage as we know it? Think about how many divorces there are. And most of it is infidelity. 
This is not infidelity. They're doing it together. How many monogamous people are breaking up every day as well? Back now to the seminars, 20 in all. Things like naked speed dating and bondage for beginners. Sure. But this is the layout of the day, huh? We'll take you, I'll take you and show you. We'll, we'll head to naked speed dating next. Demand is so high, they have to close it off. We're looking yeah. for the speed date. Yes, they're already That's full. Already full. Yeah, you got to get here early. Some people might think everybody here is an Adonis or a Barbie. There's all shapes and sizes. I know I just went in there. We have couples in their 20s, couples in their 70s. And we have big, we have small, we have everything in between. We're just society. Just We're a little more naked. So we head to a different seminar. Oh, sorry, it's the next one. Wrong dungeon. <laughs> Look, there's the maid. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tip do you leave her? A few doors down, we find the introductory bondage class. This is a 101 series. This is my assistant, Dolly. And bondage can be a fun thing. All of these classes, we should point out, emphasize safe sex. Once you have them in an interesting place, you can work with the fear. He, he also just said he has a class tomorrow on there, flogging, which is even more stuff. intense apparently than this. Most of these couples have been to the convention before. Many have been swinging for decades, but we did find some newbies. Lisa and Jay Green from New York City got married just two years ago. We're both in our mid twenties and you know, if we live to 80, that's a lot of years of the same person. So looking yeah. for excitement and keep things different. Yeah, we feel like because we're young, it's the perfect time to start exploring what we're into. It seems like this could easily ruin a marriage, especially a new one. Are you worried about that? No, not at all, because we communicate really well. And if any of us were either ever uncomfortable with something, we would just say it and then we'd stop. I'd say it brought us closer so far. Yeah. That's sort of the party line here, that opening up a relationship can strengthen it. Surprisingly, many of the women here told us it's oddly liberating. It was very empowering as a woman to step outside of that man's world and do something for myself. And not only do it for myself, but then to receive affirmation from him. It had me hooked from that. <laughs> and clearly she's not the only one. Remember Michael and Holly? They had a busy weekend. There's tons of stories we can tell. Even the strongest advocates of swinging warn couples this will not fix a bad marriage. It will expose the problems and people who weren't communicating are going to get even worse and they're going to end. But for thousands, maybe millions of couples, this works and they aren't shy about showing it off. I'm Ryan Owens for Nightline in New Orleans.